Brothers, this is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. I hope you had a very blessed Christmas. Now, brothers, I want to point out that Christmas has only started. The ancient Romans, even in other cultures, celebrated octaves of special feast. Octave comes from the Latin octo, which means eight, or octavus, which means eighth. Now, that is eight days these ancients celebrated uh, continually after the feast in a sense, as if it were eight days of a continuous festival. They knew how to celebrate, some would say, they knew how to party. Now the church holds the most sacred periods of the year are the octave of Easter and the octave of Christmas. That first day of the octave of Easter starts on Easter Sunday, and I'd say fittingly wraps up on Divine Mercy Sunday. That first day of the octave of Christmas starts on Christmas Day and finds its right completion on New Year's Day, where we commemorate Mary as the mother of God. Yeah, I'd say that's a good finish. In any case, brothers, it's important to know that these periods before the octaves or before the Eastern Christmas seasons are times of spiritual preparation and not times of celebration. Penance first, party second. Now God blesses us when we hold the appropriate practices. So brothers, I wanna encourage you to do something special to honor Christmas during the octave period by some kind of celebration or commemoration, other than perhaps a New Year's Eve bash. During these days, perhaps invite some friends to your home one evening to celebrate the birth of our Lord, to honor and commemorate the infant Christ child during this time will bring glory to him and special blessings upon you and all your family. Brother Scott be with you.